Hi there, it's David Geldart of Lumacrest Lighting Solutions. We are a premier provider of top quality LED lighting solutions and we have been since 2008. And if you're one of these people who are just beginning to discover the wonders of LED lighting and the opportunities that it provides for energy saving and for a lot more flexibility and control of your lighting, then um, you may not be quite familiar with some of the basic terminology of lights. And this video is to take you through a quick tour of 130 years of, of lighting technology um, leading to where we are today with LED. All of these things you can find on the shelves today or in your home or in your offices. And I'm just going to help you identify them and what they are. You've probably seen this. This is an uh, Edison light bulb invented by Edison and Tesla 130 years ago. Uh, quite an amazing invention. Uh, also quite amazing that this invention has been around almost unchanged for so long. Here's one that's, uh, you, you may more often see this, the frosted version. Um, it's the same technology inside, but here we can see the filament and we're going to touch on that in a moment. And I'm trying to think of some other technology that, you know, we might use basically in the same form 130 years later, um, you know. Is, is, the v, is the car, do we drive Model T Fords? We, we're not doing that, that's not even 130 years ago. Um, we don't use Univac computers. I'm trying to imagine what a, a Univac iPhone might be like. It, it, just, it just boggles the mind that essentially these things are still in use. Um, on one hand, it, it shows how good an invention it was. On the other hand, it shows uh, how much opportunity there is for innovation in lighting. So the way an incandescent bulb works is that you've got a tungsten filament here and it glows. And that's the same way that the toaster works. And when we turn this toaster on, we let it warm up for a little bit, you'll see inside it that you've got red glowing coils. And basically, that's exactly what happens here. When we turn this on, there's a filament in there which is much thinner. And we've got a vacuum in here so the thing doesn't burn itself out. Now, you can imagine that's not a very efficient way of making light. It's a very good way of making heat. But as a light generator, an incandescent bulb is enormously inefficient. So it, um, that's, that's why they were able to use these so effectively in the Easy Bake Oven, if you remember the, the Easy Bake Oven. Um, closely related to the incandescent bulb uh, is the halogen bulb. And halogens are very, very common. They're used in recessed lighting. You might only see the front of them sometimes if you look up in the ceiling. Um, smaller version of that is a GU10 light. Sometimes you even have these funny looking sticks. Even these things, which you may or may not recognize, this is a halogen bulb. Uh, is used in a standing torch lamp. Um, gets extremely hot. Uh, this bulb is 300 watts of power, if you can imagine that. Um, a halogen light will burn hotter than an incandescent bulb, which means it can be brighter um, and the light can be directed via this reflector. But uh, essentially, it's the same technology. They've just added quartz and, and made it so that it can run hotter, run wider, and be directed. Um, in terms of energy use, it's not that different from an incandescent. So then, the great innovation in lighting was the fluorescent tube. And I'm sure you're very familiar with these. They're in millions and millions of offices all around the world. And they work very effectively. These will, uh, a fluorescent tube will last about 10,000 hours, whereas a light bulb will last maybe 1,000 hours. 1,000 hours sounds like a long time, but when you consider that there's 8,760 hours in a year, uh, a light bulb really doesn't last that long if you have it on all the time. You're gonna replace it almost nine times every year. Halogen bulbs are a little bit better. Um, these will generally run 2,500 hours thereabouts. Uh, but again, you're looking at changing them two or three times a year if they're on all the time. Um, so 10,000 hours is, is a big, big improvement over that. Um, and it is fairly energy efficient. So this, this is a great technology. It's made with a gas. Uh, the electrodes um, basically cause the gas to, to glow with ultraviolet light, which is invisible light, uh, which is really not that useful to have invisible light. This is why we have a, a white phosphor coating, which turns the ultraviolet light into visible light. Problem is some of that ultraviolet light also leaks out and you end up with um, 
Ultraviolet will cause things to fade and it will give you a sunburn and does other nasty things to your health. The other issue with these, of course, is that to make the, gla the gas glow, there is some mercury in here, liquid mercury, um, which is very, very bad for the environment. So th if these are not disposed of properly, that mercury ends up in the environment. And these are, these are issues with, with uh, fluorescent tubes. Now, that's a great thing for lighting offices and parking garages and so on, but it makes kind of a lousy light bulb. It doesn't really fit into the socket very well. So what they did, the next innovation was to make it really skinny, curl it all up into a spiral, build the electronic driver into the base, and voila, you have a compact fluorescent bulb. Basically, these two technologies are very, very closely related. This is much more energy efficient than any of the incandescent bulbs. Um, so that's why up until recently, this has been the standard for an energy saving bulb. This will last about 6,000 hours. Fluorescent tube is around 10,000 hours, which is pretty good. But these are much more energy efficient than these. And that's why uh, the compact fluorescent has been widely adopted. The next technology to which can replace all of these things and is replacing all of these things very rapidly is the LED. LEDs were invented about 50 years ago as itty bitty tiny indicator lights to show that your stereo is on or um, th that's the typical thing that this was used for and this is, this is a typical itty bitty tiny green LED which would glow very, very dim. Uh, a few years ago, there were breakthroughs where the LEDs could be made to be white and they could be made to be bright enough that you can start to illuminate rooms. And that technology has moved very, very rapidly to the point where we've got our LED lighting products today. This is a PAR-30 version of it to replace a halogen PAR-30 and the PAR-38 is a direct replacement for this halogen bulb. The PAR-38 LED consumes about 17 watts. This halogen bulb would be close to 100 watts uh, for producing the same light. So you can see the efficiency is, is dramatic. Uh, as well, 2,500 hours here, 2,500 versus 40,000. So four times longer than a tube even. So uh, there's a higher upfront cost on these things, but um, you save that cost dramatically many times over just, just in, the, in the lifespan alone of replacing these bulbs plus the fact that it's so much more efficient. Um, the LED is a computer type technology, as I've alluded to here. It's a light emitting diode, uh, and that sounds kind of scary, but basically a diode is a one-way street for electricity. And if you dope it with impurities, then they found that suddenly it would start to glow, and that's, that's the foundation of LED technology. Obviously, there's a lot more to it than that. But that's the, uh, that's the basis of it. So what we have in here is, looks like one really gigantic LED. Uh, actually, it's, it's a whole bunch of LEDs glommed together on one tiny little chip. Um, the yellow uh, is the phosphor that tints, tints it white to the right color. And we'll talk about color in another, in another video. So the great thing about LED lights is that we're not constrained to these kind of old fashioned form factors. So I have here a reel of, LED flexible strip. And you can see that's incredibly bright. That's five meters long with a self-adhesive back and that can be uh, put underneath your cabinets, over your cabinets, uh, in, on your stairs, stair railings, um, all sorts of fun and interesting places. Um, and this consumes, again, very, very little power. Uh, this is something that you just can't do with a light bulb. That's a 130 year trip through lighting technology. And uh, I hope that helps you understand uh, where we're going and where we've been.